officials close in on the killer of James Foley. Tonight, another American held captive in Syria has been freed. It all comes as the U.S. continues its strikes against ISIS militants and weighs how it will deal with the threat going forward. NBC's Kristen Welker is traveling with the president in Martha's Vineyard and has more on today's developments. Kristen. Lester, good evening. There's late word tonight that British intelligence sources have identified the killer of James Foley, and now they need to find him. Meanwhile, another American, Theo Curtis, was released from his captors in Syria today. In a statement, Secretary of State John Kerry said, quote, we are all relieved and grateful. Five days after the world learned ISIS militants executed American journalist James Foley, today a different terrorist group based in Syria. 45-year-old American Peter Theo Curtis, who was held for two years, described by his Massachusetts family as an author and a freelance journalist, Curtis was captured while crossing the border from Turkey into Syria. In a statement, Curtis's mom said of his release, please know that we will be eternally grateful. Meanwhile, according to security sources, British intelligence officials have identified the man they believed killed James Foley. NBC News has not yet confirmed the name of the suspect. There is some very sophisticated voice identification technology and other measures that we have got uh, which should allow us to be very clear about who this person is before very long. Today, two more U.S. airstrikes in Iraq aimed at slowing any ISIS advance. This as Islamic State fighters captured a major military air base in Syria. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee Mike Rogers said the group poses a global threat. The reason ISIS is so successful is there was nothing deterring them for years. So they recruited, they financed, they trained. They are one plane ticket away from U.S. shores. As President Obama weighs the possibility of expanding airstrikes into Syria where ISIS is headquartered, hawkish Republicans urged him to act quickly. It's about time now to assume the worst about these guys rather than underestimating them. They're not the JV team anymore. They're the most prominent terrorist organization in the world. One of the key decisions the president's going to have to make is air power in Syria. We cannot give them a base uh, of operations. But with polls showing a majority of Americans opposing engagement in foreign conflicts, some Democrats continue to express concern about mission creep. We're already seeing a broadening of the mission in Iraq. Should we go into Syria, the mission will have been broadened tr quite tremendously. In Rochester, New Hampshire today, Foley's hometown, the flags were lowered to half staff as the community came together to mourn their native son and remember. A member of Theo Curtis told me tonight a doctor determined Curtis is in good health. President Obama heads home from his vacation in Martha's Vineyard this evening and back to the White House where he'll face the hard decision of whether to expand U.S. military engagement in the Middle East, the very region he's promised to withdraw U.S. forces from. Lester. All right, Kristen, thanks.